Hello YouTubers. I am going to make a couple of rocket stoves here. This one is out of an old Heineken keg. I had ash in it first, but the cans burned away and rotted. So I'm going to redo it with 20% cement, fiber reinforced cement, so it hopefully doesn't crack. And 80% uh, vermiculite. And this one I'm going to make out of an old isopropanol bucket, metal bucket. Just jigsawed some handles so I can dig out some of the cement so I can pick it up. Jigsawed a hole in the front. And put the two 45 degree angles together like that. And that'll give me my burn tube. These are super efficient. They use very low amount of wood. This is the one I made a couple of weeks ago with standard cement and 80% vermiculite, 20% cement. Still curing. And I had some leftover cement from the previous mix, so instead of just dumping it, I just molded it into the balls with my hand and pushed it down on a flat surface so I could maybe use these as standoffs for a big pot. Or if you don't want to use rocks, you just set these on top wherever you want them. They dry pretty light, so this should be pretty light when I'm done. But uh, I just took three ravioli cans and uh, made a little burn tube out of it. So I'm going to mix up the cement, which I have over here. Crack resistant fiber reinforced concrete mix. Home Depot, five or six bucks. Just mix it up in the wheelbarrow. And then as you're pouring it, you want to pour in the stuff on the bottom first, up to about this level. Tamp it down with some wood or something. Then put this in like that. And then tamp it down around it so it's nice and compact in there. You don't want it loose. You want it curing very tight. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to put a few drain holes in the bottom in case it rains. It'll let the water out. Probably ought to do that with this one. This one I'm going to cut the bucket down the side. Peel it off. And we'll see if she holds together. I used, I molded some hardware cloth that's sitting around the outside to kind of hold it together because I was afraid of cracking. This is a little thin down here. I don't know, that might crack, but I also put some hardware cloth in there and, to hold it together. We'll see how that works after it's all cured. But with the extra, just make some uh, standoffs or something. Basically, it turns into a fire brick, so hopefully when it's under a lot of heat from being around here, it'll cure to a nice fire brick. Nice hard and maybe harder than it is now. It's still pre it's pretty hard. But uh, we'll see how she goes and I'll put another video up when I get her all cured up and see how they work. Later.